Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at this camera, the Canon M50, which I think is a game changer. M50 came out about a year ago. Uh, I heard about it, I saw it on people reviewing on YouTube. I thought it was cute, but not a real filmmaker's camera. And you know, I was wrong. Uh, I got my hands on one a couple of weeks ago. I'm still up here in Vermont. Um, I didn't bring much in the way of film gear. Um, so I thought I would just play around with it and see what I could get. And it turns out that it's absolutely fantastic for a bunch of the stuff I do. Um, I'm able to take really high quality stills on it. The stills are as good, if not better than my Canon 5D Mark II. Um, I'm able to take really great um, video on it. Uh, it has face chasing autofocus. It has an external mic, uh, the Rode video mic I'm using right now um, that fits into the hot shoe. It has a heap of custom controls. You can change ISO, aperture, and shutter speed, obviously. Then you can also have them on automatic and set ranges where the camera will adjust, but then won't go beyond if you're worried about ISO going too high. It comes with some awesome inbuilt Canon color science. Uh, it doesn't have C-Log, C-Log 2 or C-Log 3. It uh, does have the ability to load a picture profile. So I loaded a custom C-Log EOS picture profile from my 5D Mark III um, and actually the colors look pretty good. I ended up not shooting with it as much because I ended up using the inbuilt picture profiles more than I used my own custom one, just because it's easier for monitoring. Um, it, this camera doesn't have a inbuilt you know, waveform or false color. Um, I didn't bring an external monitor to monitor it, but it does have this great um, flip around screen, which is something the DSLRs don't. I was surprised how good the audio on this thing is. Um, I haven't got the, the microphone right next to my mouth like I usually do on my C200 videos. It's still really usable. The camera also has, like a lot of mirrorless cameras, a stabilized sensor. What are the downsides? Uh, this isn't a 4K camera. Technically it is. Uh, you can set a 4K, but then it then crops the video into somewhere here. Um, and I just found that with already a small sensor, which we'll talk about in a second, the crop was just, you know, kind of unusable. Yeah, the sensor size is small, meaning that you're going to need a very wide lens um, if you want to get a wide shot. You know, what would normally be a, and God, don't quote me on this, I'm just pulling these numbers out of thin air, but if you wanted like a 25 mil shot on your full frame DSLR, you're going to want like a 16 mil um, on a camera like this because the sensor is so small. The lens that the camera comes with is a 15 to 45, or at least the kit that I got did. Um, it's not a constant aperture, it changes, uh, but it's fast enough for most stuff, I would say, definitely for still photography. Um, you can go out and get other M, Canon M lenses if you want to get something um, super shallow depth of focus or something that has take uh, much better low light photos. Um, but for you know the YouTube videos that I've done here and the other little bits and pieces that I did up in Montreal while I was in Vermont, um, the lenses work great. I didn't find myself needing anything. It doesn't have ND, doesn't have internal ND like the XC cameras do, the XC10, the XC15. Um, but you know you can always get a screw on um, filter for the front of the lens. But the biggest advantage is this thing is tiny. It fits in your pocket. It's just so travelable, so portable. It's just something to have on you and it's not slow. Like you can um, take multiple uh, 5,000 by 4,000, I think it is, the um, raw size, still frames a second. Um, it's just the camera that you have is a lot better than the camera that was at home because it's too big to bring. and. The trouble with point and shoots traditionally is that they're not good enough quality to warrant bringing both your phone, which you already have to bring, and them. But I would say that Canon has looked at that problem and has really aggressively marketed this thing. It's $600, $700, depending on what kit you get, and it takes epic raw um, stills. It takes really great video um, with a whole bunch of controls that you wouldn't have on your iPhone. And all in all, just like a, you know, a really great unit. I wouldn't call it an A cam or a B cam, I'd call it a C cam, something that you can um, throw in your bag when you're going away for a weekend where you might not want to take photos, but it's great to know that if you see an amazing sunrise or you, you, know, you stop at a really beautiful place that you didn't know you were going to get, or 
you meet someone really interesting that you can take photos or take video of them and still have it good enough quality to use in your regular work. At least that's my perspective. You know, the sensor of this camera is tiny, but it is 50 times bigger than the sensor of an iPhone and um, it really does make a difference. I believe you can get a M to EF adapter um, if you're gonna bring this camera along with your DSLR or cinema camera and you wanna use the same lenses. Getting the M50 means getting M lenses, which are a whole different range. But I have to say that um, the jump into this camera was a lot better than the Fujifilm X-T2, which came with all different kinds of menus, um, was a prettier camera, looks a little bit more like a Leica, but was a lot harder to learn the features of and get to use, whereas um, the M50, um, straight out of the box, I didn't even need to uh, look at the manual, I just knew where everything was because it's the same as my um, cinema and DSLR cameras. M50 has a flip around screen for vlogging or for doing things like this. Um, whereas the X-T2, I believe, uh, it kind of flips up and down but doesn't get all the way around. It doesn't articulate to that, to that extent. That's my look at the Canon M50 mirrorless um, digital and video modes. Uh, I really like this camera. I really plan to shoot a bunch more with it. Um, thanks very much for watching. Leave your questions in the comments and I will see you next time.